in this video I'm going to talk about how Eratosthenes measured the circumference of the earth and the remarkable thing was he did it in about 250 BC so uh, more than 2,000 years ago he managed to come up with a, a value for the circumference of the earth now how did he do that well uh, a couple of observations led him to the answer. First of all, um, if we imagine this is the ancient world and there was a place called Cyen and something very interesting happened at Cyen um, on the summer solstice at midday on the summer solstice there was a well in Cyen a very deep well and at midday on the summer solstice the sun was directly overhead it was at your zenith so light from the sun would go all the way down to the bottom of this well now what was interesting was that at places north and south of Cyan for example at this place here uh, Alexandria which is approximately north of Cyan. Uh, the sun's rays don't do that. If you had a well at Alexandria at exactly the same time, in other words at midday on the summer solstice, the sun is not directly overhead. The sun is over there somewhere. The sun's rays come down and they don't get to the bottom of the well. Or if you had a, a stick in the ground there's a vertical stick then the sun's rays would cast a shadow with this angle here being about seven degrees so Aristosthenes thought to himself well how come at exactly the same time in Cyen uh, the sun is directly overhead but in Alexandria the sun isn't directly overhead and he figured out that the answer was that the surface of the earth is curved so imagine this is the surface of the earth imagine this is our well in Cyen and the sun's rays are coming down the well hitting the bottom of the well uh, if we had uh, a well in Alexandria or let's say there's a, a vertical stick in Alexandria then at the same time the sun's rays are parallel at the same time as the sun's rays coming down the stick would cast a shadow and that's because the sun isn't directly overhead and it would cast a shadow with a bit of trigonometry we can work out that the shadow is at an angle of seven degrees okay so the surface of the earth is curved how do we work out the circumference of the earth well um, this is seven degrees if we know what this distance here is between Alexandria and Cyen if we know what that distance is accurately then if that distance is seven degrees uh, then the distance for 360 degrees is the circumference of the earth uh, Eratosthenes hired somebody to accurately measure the distance by basically by walking it with camels it took them several days to do it and they measured this distance as accurately as they could at the time and they got a value of 920 kilometers obviously they didn't use kilometers in those days but that's the distance that they got if you converted it so what's the circumference of the earth well if 920 kilometers uh, corresponds to 7 degrees then 920 divided by 7 would be the distance for 1 degree and then if you multiply that by 360 degrees or just 360 that would tell you the circumference of the earth 
What answer did he get? Well, if we work this out, 920 over 7 is, uh, works out at 131 kilometres. And if you multiply that by 360, we get an answer of 47,300 kilometres. That was approximately Eratosthenes' value for the circumference of the Earth, something like 46 to 47,000. Uh, the modern day value for the circumference of the Earth, accepted value, is 40,000. 800 kilometers at least an average value and so you can see that um, Eratosthenes wasn't far off and bearing in mind he did it 250 BC that's uh, quite impressive